currently the situation looks very bad for Bitcoin, but and crypto, but actually currently the situation actually looks very bad for Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. However, I'm going to show you a few things in this video that are going to defer you from thinking negatively about Bitcoin and actually what I am busy doing at the moment. I will tell you guys, make sure to stay tuned right to the very end of the video. Well, thank you for being here with me today. Welcome back to the Crypto Blue Show. I'm Kiara Dukash. And guys, I can, you can tell I've been rocking videos. I've got another second part of this video coming out for you later today. Um, the next part three or four will be out tomorrow and part four or four will be out on Friday. So make sure to stay tuned because you guys are going to want to use that at your best advantage to take care of making sure that your investments are strong in these specific projects. So guys, I have a lot to share with you guys. Don't miss out. Subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so that you get notified when I do videos like this for you. Come over, check my Twitter page. Come uh, subscribe to my Twitter page as well. I have so many things to share with you guys on Twitter and I am getting some really cool uh, posts and things uh, ready for you guys at the moment for my Twitter page. Anyways, guys, um, let's not waste any time. I want to delve into this because it's a very quick video today. Um, $2.6 billion, a trillion dollar market cap. We're up 1.1% for the day, but we're very much down over the last kind of, you know, a little while, like two, three days. Trading volume has increased um, in terms of, um, as you can see, there's been a lot of buying up here or, or volume increase, excuse me, while the sell pressure. So, you know, are we getting ready? To, I mean, is the sell pressure depleting? I don't know. I mean, we'll have to have a look in a little moment, but um, crazy things are busy pumping out there at the moment. Uh, Bitcoin is currently sitting at 65705 and Ethereum at $3,300 today. Uh, as you can see, most of the Morales money bubbles are actually busy pumping today, which is pretty cool, um, and very few are in the red. So lots to think about on that side. Um, even though the Ethereum greed index is all the way down at 71, it's kind of the lowest it's been in the last month, maybe two months. Uh, so, I mean, a little bit of a cool off, and I'm going to show you why in a moment, is actually very, very necessary. So, you know, quant, uh, you know, as, as you guys can see here, um, Bitcoin has closed over 60,000 in 33 days in a row. It's consolidation. So that's exactly why I was just saying to you guys now that it doesn't matter we're at the bottom. We're actually in a consolidation period, and you should be very grateful that we're actually getting a bit of a pullback right now in the market. So let's go and see what that actually looks like for all of us. Well, because because Bitcoin is incredibly bullish right now and we just cannot be any more clear on this. And I don't know if you guys can see this, but I've been talking to you guys and I've been telling you guys about many, many times. Look at us here, guys. I think we're going to have the most amount of this MACD increase tremendously in this cycle because of the uh, spot ETF inflows, guys. We have so much and we just haven't even got started. So I, if you guys didn't watch my video that I shared with you guys yesterday about the Bitcoin tsunami, you guys need to go and check that one. Plus my live one that I did for you guys uh, on Monday night, uh, right there. And you guys literally need to to, to check that out and, and see what that's going to do for you guys. Because I'll leave those pinned in the, com uh, pinned in the cards above for you guys. Make sure not to miss out on those. Now. Uh, I want to delve into a little bit of news with you guys. And I just want to say to you that even though we're experiencing a little bit of a dump right now, we're going to have a little bit of a conversation with that. We're experiencing a little bit of a dump right now. This is, I told you guys in my video, this is America, um, the Silk Road dump, uh, American government selling the Silk Road confiscated Bitcoin. Uh, they're doing a little, running a little bit of a test at the moment. So guys, this is something that is unfolding and can happen. This is a small little blip in the bigger scale of things, especially considering that uh, they only have around 200,000 uh, Bitcoin to sell. And currently the Bitcoin market cap is about three, um, uh, 1.3 trillion. So if we took 200,000 Bitcoin, uh, that would be $131 billion, guys. That will be... Do you think they're going to sell all of that in one go? I doubt it, guys. So, you know, like, I don't think they're going to do that. I think they just want to take some profits, you know, because the markets have been overheated. Um, and who wouldn't want to? However, Quant Analyst Plan B unveils massive Bitcoin price target, says 200k BTC, 
very underwhelming. Now, I've been speaking about 285 to 300K on my channel for months on end, if not a month, maybe a year. Okay, guys. So, in a new strategy session, on chain analyst tells, uh, you know, that they're going to go to about 200K. So, 200K is the next stop. Now, guys, once we reach 200K, the million is going to be very, very close to towards us um, and very, very quick. So, um, in the next stop, this will not be the, uh, it will not be in this year, but next year, 25, that top, some people talk about 200,000 as the next top. You can see on the chart below that that would be very underwhelming, considering we could essentially be like heading up to 200,000 on the next dot here, um, according to his uh, stock to flow model. So in fact, from stock to flow perspective, we need a top that's much higher than the average 500,000, let's say 600,000 or 700,000, maybe, uh, or a million dollars. So the top will be higher than 500,000 in 2025. So if you guys haven't bought Bitcoin yet, I don't know about you, but, you know, like this is something normal, like these dips that we're currently experiencing here. But this is a little blip. I mean, look at the dip that we experienced there. It's worse than that. And like, we still went up. So like, what are you guys shitting yourself about? Because Bitcoin on its usual trajectory actually does like a crazy, um, it does like a crazy uh, dip, 30% dips, you know, like 25 to 30% dips on its way up all the time. Look at this. Look at this, guys. We made a dip there. 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 And we are still dipping, guys. Now, not even that. Like, on the way up, there was a dip. 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 And then a major dip. So, to point out to this here, there will be volatility too. That's very important. It won't be straight up and no dips. There will be multiple minus 20, 30% dips. So, this is to be expected, guys. That is very normal. And personally, like, if you're shitting yourself, you guys need to catch a wake up. Um, and, like, in Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, all it is is, of course, this is not financial advice, but literally you just buy and sit on your hands. Like if you think Bitcoin is going to go crazy, I mean, if it's sitting at $65,000 today and Plan B is busy saying that it can go to $700,000, that's a 10x in your money. So if you invest a thousand, you convert that into 10,000 guys. So, and that's in two years time, like 18 months time. Don't be like, don't be foolish with your money. Okay, here are realistic price targets for BTC and Ethereum, according to this crypto analyst. So, uh, for E3 to 4 uh, of prior all time high puts us at 15 to 20,000. I think uh, 15,000 is a pretty reasonable price on ETH, especially if there is a perhaps launch of the spot ETF sometime soon after the halving, which we would hope for that they would happen sometime this year. Now, uh, somebody thinks that BTC can realistically 2x from our last high at 69, which kind of gives it 140, 140,000, guys. I think uh, Bitcoin can definitely do much higher than that. That's my personal view. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below. Um, if you guys are enjoying this content so far, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. Plenty more coming out for you guys. Injection of new capital supporting Bitcoin as long as uh, as long-term holders distribute to newcomers, according to Glassnode. Now, the firm realized cap metric. Uh, this results in spend coins generally being revalued re from a lower cost basis to a higher cost, a uh, higher one. As these altcoins change hands, we can also consider this to be an injection of fresh demand and liquidity into the asset class. This mechanic is elegantly expressed by the realized cap metric, uh, tracking the cumulative USD liquidity uh, stored in the asset class. The realized cap is now at a new all-time high value of 540 billion and is increasing at an unprecedented rate of over 79 billion per month. Guys, Bitcoin is just getting started. Like, look at this. This is the realized cap hodl weight. We literally are just at the bottom. We're just getting warm. In fact, we're not even warmed up. We're just coming onto the pitch. Okay, we're just... Uh, sorry, we're just coming into the, the change rooms, not the pitch. We're coming into the change rooms, uh, you know, getting ready to take off our clothes from the day and just, you know, just change into our sports gears. We are literally getting ready for this race. Now, guys, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel um, and hit my Vibit link down below, it will give you $30,000 deposit bonus. 
my buy, my bid flex link will give you a hundred uh, sorry eighty eight thousand eight hundred eighty eight dollars by us and together one hundred twenty eight thousand eight hundred eighty eight dollars. Now, what I want to share with you guys is like don't be fooled. Like I would say if we break this neckline, uh, Da Vinci actually pointed out something very very interesting, which I can see is a very beautiful M pattern uh, with a lower top over here that has now formed. So. If we are to M pattern this out um, down from there, uh, and I did say to you guys, if we were to break that target, that essentially this is where we would go, um, which would be down here, which would you know cause a little bit of havoc for me. However, uh, in this trade, so yes, however, you know, you would ask why would I, you know, experience this drop? I would say to you, I would experience this drop typically so that I can re-enter because. I am in such conviction that Bitcoin is going to explode to much, much higher levels than where we are, that I would do everything in my power, uh, which I am currently busy doing, no financial advice. I literally am selling all of my stocks, all of my um, property shares, all of my all kinds of uh, REITs, everything that I have uh, from that perspective, I'm actually currently selling right now. And I'm taking that and I am buying Bitcoin with that, guys. And you can use my links down below and do the same as me um, and benefit from the crazy gains that we are about to see in Bitcoin, guys. Because once Bitcoin starts to traject, uh, you know, I would buy like another five to ten thousand dollars worth of a trade at this level because that's where I am. Uh, even though my trade currently is only at forty-five dollars. Do you see what I'm saying? So now I can convert. What it is that I'm doing here and be absolutely ballistic and go wild by re-entering down at the support levels, making sure that I do decrease my stop loss essentially down um, while I push those levels down, guys. That's very simple. Now, my Aptos trade, so my Bitcoin trade is 400% up. My Aptos is still 40% up. I got stopped out of two of my trades with the drops yesterday, uh, but my BOEM is 450%. I'm going to make this trade also about $100. Um, I do have some some liquidity in that so we can have a look at that in a short moment but solana's up 100 percent and guys i think uh you know i'm going to continue and the same with eth i'm going to get into a position in eth very very soon um and find a, a way to to basically have that uh traded as well now guys boom for me uh you guys can see i'm in a trade i'm in a very delicious trade over there now you guys can check my link down below if you guys want to trade this with me, you guys can trade it and you can get crazy uh, bonuses and you can trade this on leverage up to, I think, 15x leverage. Um, I'm on 10x leverage at the moment. You can see here that I drew my pattern. I'm very familiar with my pattern. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to wait and I'm going to put a buy entry limit somewhere around this area here, especially if Bitcoin continues to drop a little bit. I'm going to put a buy area down here at 15, kind of 15, 15 cents is what I would say. OK, um, and, you know, through that, that will raise my entry up a little bit. OK, and my stop loss will have to raise a little bit. Not a problem, um, but at least I'm now adding tons more liquidity to that position up to. I mean, I think I'm going to add at least 50 kind of 50 dollars. Um, you know, if I do add 50 dollars, it might bring it straight up. So I think I'll add 10 dollars at a time um, on its way down. Uh, so that I can reduce the, the friction of bringing that, that entry right up uh, because I have got a very, very good entry down here. From there, guys, you can see that we got into the trade and this thing is going to go ballistic. Once it breaks through this level, guys, we're going to see some insane things. So my 440% could turn into like 44,000%, maybe even 44 million percent. And if I add more liquidity to that, you guys can see how much money you guys can make. So sign up using my links down below and let's go and trade together. And remember to come over to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for being here. And guys, this isn't over just yet, but make sure just to be safe and yeah, trade wisely. Thanks very much.